hello what's up youtube brony sweet and i tutorial and in this tutorial i'll show you guys the easiest way to master your mixer brush tool to do your skin retouching better in photoshop and i want to show you guys the different settings that you can use and the best way to apply your mixer brush tool on your images to see where to even out the skin tones remember when you're doing skin retouching we are basically trying to even out skin tone so that it can be uniform and have that nice and beautiful transition so the better the transition the better the image is going to become because when the skin is really nice and well toned it means that 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 photo or that portrait is going to be looking good at the end of the day so without further ado let's just get started so I, what i want to do right now i just want to come and i play my frequency separation action and those interested in purchasing my actions or my retouching essentials pack make sure to check the links in the description of this very video so i'm just going to play my action and right now this is a 16 bit image you can see right here we have 16 so i'm just going to come under my actions and i'm just going to click here and this is all oh, these are the actions in my retouching essentials pack so when i come and i play my action that is my 16 bit fs 16 bit action and it is going to play so this is the very first instance where you have to take into consideration the best settings that you want to put or embed in the image by this i mean like the best textures that you want to remain in your photos are going to be determined by these various steps so i'm just going to put the radius all the way down so at this point you have to look for the area that has more or prominent textures and for this case i feel like this area has more skin textures than the rest of uh, the model's skin so you have to look for that area that has more pronounced skin textures so for this case when i click right here you can set i have more pronounced textures right here so i just want to blur out or start losing out on those textures in this particular area which means when I start losing this out, it means that the other textures in the image are also going to be lost because we have chosen the area that has more or prominent skin textures in our photo. So just come and left click right here and start moving this uh, gradually towards the right hand side up to a point when this detail is starting to get lost or uh, disappear from uh, this image so i think at around seven that is where i have started losing out on the detail so when i hover around the image you can see the rest of the details have also been lost so you should not cram this radius because your image may either be a little bit softer or sharper meaning you have to apply a different radius depending on how sharp or how much detail you have in the skin of your your models or your photos so just come and hit ok and action is just going to continue playing so i'm just going to close this in a bit so in my actions i usually have this black and white layer so you can use it as your help player or i just want to show you guys a better way if at all you prefer using this i don't i don't mean to say that it is a wrong technique just leave it there it is so i prefer to turn it off and now before I do the major emphasis for today's tutorial, I just want to show you guys the mixer brush tool. So a mixer brush tool is not like the ordinary brushes. So in order to find it, just come under the brushes and simply right click and you can see that we have different tools under the brushes. So I'm using Photoshop 2020. So we have the brush tool, pencil tool color replacement tool and we have the mixer brush tool right below so this is the tool that we want to be using to even out or blend and have that nice and beautiful transition within the skin tone so come and select the mixer brush tool and in other versions rather of photoshop we usually have the mixer brush tool right down below here so just right click and look for your mixer brush tool in those areas so basically we just want to get the brush set in the best way to give us the nice and beautiful results out of the image so in order to set it they're just going to come so you have to set it from this option right here. i hope you can see the upper section right here 
so this is why we have to set the mixer brush tool so the very first thing you have to do is coming and setting uh, first of all the hardness make sure the hardness is at zero percent and now the second option is this option so when you click down here we have where it says clean brush and load brush so we just want our brush to be as clean as possible as you're trying to blend or even out the skin tone remember we're just going to be painting all over your skin tone so that we can have all harmonize the colors or skin tones in the image so just come and make sure that you have a clean brush so we have two options right here we have load the brush after each and every stroke and the second option is actually the opposite of the first option which is clean the brush after each and every stroke so remember when you're working with skin tone most of the times we are going to be having different colors in the skin area so in order to handle those areas we want the brush to be clean because we don't want to copy color from this area and we paint it like on an area which has brighter skin tone so meaning we have to select this option which says clean the brush so it's like when you're painting and you're trying to apply a, a given color or a different color from the one you have been previously using you have first of all clean the brush and you can now apply that color to a given or different area so right now we have where it says settings so you have to set up this we have weight load mix and flow so this is where you have to pay maximum attention usually i would always recommend you guys to use a weight below nine percent if at all you are going to leave the rest of the settings as they are because when you apply a higher weight, it means that you're going to be having your brush to be so wet, meaning that you're going to start painting and be spilling color to further areas. But when your brush is a little bit dry, meaning having a lower weight, meaning it is going to be dry in that case, it means that it's not going to be spilling color to areas that are far away from the area we are trying to blend or even in the image so we have load so for this i usually leave them at their default so i prefer a load of 75 mix at 90 and the flow 100 because i just want to play around with only the wetness so in other tutorials on youtube you may find some people tending to work maybe with a different weight so they are going to be having different settings right here because they tend to change or tweak around these settings that they have so some people prefer using a weight of 30 load is 30 mix at 30 and the flow 100 so you have to choose what really works best for you as the person that is going to be doing retouching so i prefer these settings because i've tried and tested them and i really prefer and love them and they give me the best out of my images so if at all you're going with the 30 30 30 30 option that can also work for you so after setting up the brush that means that we are almost going to be retouching but remember we have this option or the last option which says sample all layers let me repeat this it says sample all layers it means that when we are working in our frequency separation group right here it means that when you're trying to paint in this area that contains the skin tones it means that it's going to be copying information from all these areas and applying them depending on the layer that we have been able to select in the image remember when you're doing skin retouching the skin tones are usually embedded on the low frequency layer let me repeat this when you're doing skin retouching you usually work with the low frequency layer it means that the low frequency layer is only containing the colors and the skin tones so we just want to even out those skin tones using the mixer brush tool that we have been able to set so just come in your frequency separation group and now i could just make this bigger so just come right here and select your low frequency layer so make sure that you select it because it contains the colors and the skin tones so after i have been able to select it so we have the option which which says sample all layers let me first show you guys 
the mistake most of you guys tend to use when it comes to using the Mr. Bash tool. So most of you tend to leave this option checked or turned on. So when you turn this on, it means it is going to be copying information from the texture layer and painting it on our low frequency layer. Let me show you guys what I'm trying to elabor elaborate by this. So when I come to the Mr. Bash tool and I start painting, you can see that it is also painting textures in this low frequency layer and really uh, shows that this is really not nice at all. So I'm just going to undo that command Z. So make sure sample all layers is not turned on or it is not checked. So it means that we are only going to be working with the information in the low frequency layer. And before you can start blending or evening out the skin tones, just come and make sure you turn off the high frequency layer. So what this does, it is going to help you really see those uneven skin tone transitions and you start painting through your image so that you can have a more and nicer transition within the skin tone. So I'm just going to come and select the low frequency layer as I have turned off the high frequency layer. And now after selecting it, simply I left click if at all you're using a touchpad or you can use or you can set your pain pressure or tablet depending on the settings that work best for you. So you left click and hold down and start moving your mouse just like that. So I would prefer that you don't over zoom in so that you can see every area that has an even transition. So just come and paint just like that. I hope you can see. But as you're doing this, you're going to notice that the image is going to be a little bit plastic. But that shouldn't be your concern right now. So just come and blend those uneven areas. And in order to increase or decrease on your mixer brush tool size, make sure to use the box brackets on the keyboard to either increase or decrease on the size of your mixer brush tool. So just come and so you have to blend the area according to how it is shaped and the direction in which it is. So you can see I'm moving my mixer brush tool in an up down kind of direction because the area I'm trying to blend or even in this image is moving in that direction and when it comes to this eye area, the eye is moving in this direction so I'm just trying to follow the direction of the model uh, face or the shape of her facial structures and moving my Mr. Brush tool in that kind of direction. So let's see what we've done so far. Come and turn on the high frequency layer and when you turn on this on and off you can see what we've just done with the Mr. Brush tool and we have just blended or evened out the transitions within the skin tone in those areas while still retaining the textures in the image. So just come and turn this off and you can come and continue evening out. You can see you have to even out those colors that look alike in the image. So left click, hold down and just blend just like that. So we have blended that and where they are transitioning, just come and blend that border to just like that. So that you can have a nice transition in those particular areas. So just come and do this. I hope you can see this and blend like that. So. As you're doing this, you're going to still notice that the image turns out to be like that kind of oil painting. But that is really what we want to achieve because the more it looks more plastic, the better the results that you're going to be having. So when it comes to the nose area, since we have to blend this area, remember the nose is moving in this direction. Just come and increase on the size and just move it in an up down kind of movement and even those tones so that we can have or retain uh, the face of the model or the original shape of the model's face just like that so turn on the texture layer and we'll see what we have done so far this is the before after before after you can see what the mixer brush tool has just done so basically you can as well continue working on your images and i would recommend that every single time you're working with the mixer brush tool just apply it on the face and the rest of the body and when you want to apply the method that I've always showed you in my tutorials the lasso tool method just apply it only on the face so the Mr. Bash tool is also going to work best 
on uh, the neck area so just come and do it and for the lower parts of your body just use the Mr. brush tool and I guarantee you're going to be having as a base you can see this has turned out to look a little bit plastic but when you turn on the texture layer you can see that we still have the details in those areas before after before after so basically this is how to use and apply the Mr. Blush tool and set it the best way possible to do your skin retouching in Photoshop. And if at all you have loved this, don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel. If at all you have been watching from this channel for the very first time, Ronix from Ronix Photography, thank you for watching. I'll see you in yet more amazing tutorials and don't forget to keep practicing and keep creating.